So g'day people, how are you going today? My name is Glenn and today I have some Hong Kong banknotes. Well, in general, these are the older issues. So, if you do not know, Hong Kong actually issued a new set of banknotes in 2010 and 2012 in between. So the 20, 50 and 100 dollar were issued in early 2012. So that's about six years ago. And the, well, the 1000 was issued first because I had to replace it because of can fitting. That was issued in, this, I think, December 2010. And the 500 in February 2011. So, I'm here in Hong Kong now. And I'll just show you what I actually have got into my change. So, these are the normal series of banknotes that are currently in circulation so these are currently also being printed and released so we have the ten dollars i can only get the polymer banknotes i cannot actually get any of the paper banknotes i haven't seen those for a few years so this is 2014 that's the last issue of polymer banknotes 2014 as well uh well brad it well my source will check for good serial numbers and also you get the Bank of China in this 2010 uh, the HSBC 2016 so this is the uh, oh in 2018 this is the uh, most current year 2016 uh, the serial numbers are pretty bad on that okay so 2010 so these are a bit older you do get a lot of 2010 but a lot of them are more circulated than that and I have a bunch of um, oh, 2016 and these these will be good to collect except for the center fold because it is quite easy to get uncirculated banknotes these days off uh, eBay so these are pretty much consecutive so double four but because these are consecutive there's probably really nothing to uh, look at here so, yeah, 989, but the rest of the numbers are crap. 969, numbers are crap. And then we have the $50. 2015. Yep. So it's a Bank of China. That's the third bank that actually issues banknotes. And $50 is actually my favourite banknote. And on the back it has a uh, Tung Ping Tao. And then we have $100. So 2014, serial sure number's not that good. Ah, 2010. So HSBC issues the most amount of banknotes in Hong Kong. And the other two banknotes issue to a lesser degree. Smaller amount of banknotes. This one is 2012. Hmm, quite circulated. So here we get to the good part. So this is the actual oldest banknote I actually got a few days ago and is actually a get a close up oh, there you go 1998 banknote so can actually get these sometimes mainly 20s and 50s you generally don't get them in the high denominations so these were replaced in 2003 and they would have been in circulation in the 2000s probably by 2010 there was virtually none in circulation so I'll, I'll actually keep this one because it's actually quite a good condition actually has some folds yeah but it has no pinholes no tears and you can also get a lot of the older bait notes so here we have uh, the 2000 and nine, so it's the last year of issue, and it's replaced in 2012. Oh, yeah, nothing special there. How about this one? 2016, so this is the last issue, or the current, most current date. No, uh, WW double five, yeah. New, I get some older 50s, so 2007. Bank of China, good news. Uh, 2009, pretty well circulated. I'll just respin that. Uh, this one, 2000, 
2007. It's in better condition than the other one. So this is actually the best series to actually get of Hong Kong banknotes. But no. And uh, no. No. And the hundred dollar banknotes, I actually got two of the older ones. 2006 and 2005 so you can get older banknotes in Hong Kong so if you come here keep a lookout for them because they're good banknotes to collect and uh, yeah have an awesome banknote collecting time people bye bye